So the whole pattern is the same across all of our sheets and that's to accept every single one of our mounts. What's up guys, Connor here. Today we are gonna do a quick video on all of our sheet mounts for Kydex and leather. So the first one I'm gonna start with is our IWV mount. Um, it comes obviously with the clip and then you've got female and male screws as well as the bushings that separate the mount from the sheet. So I'm gonna crack this open. We've got an anaconda here and Tropic Multicam, one of our new sheath options that we've got available in the gear store. So the first thing I wanna start with is the whole pattern along the sheet. So the whole pattern is the same across all of our sheets and that's to accept every single one of our mounts. So pop this blade out. I'm gonna show you for the first mount, the IWB, the two holes that you wanna mount in are yours. So you've got one, two, three, four, and five. Four and five is where you want to mount. Now, depending on it, your lefty, your righty, if you're going to carry appendix, you know, on the right side of your hip, whatever, that's how you're going to mount this. I'm going to go ahead and mount it on the back side, which you can tell the back side is the side where the rivets have been pressed. The front side is with the finished rivets. Okay, so grab my screwdriver, pull these screws out. So there's the first male screw. Okay, and then you've got your second male screw. So we'll get a close up shot of those so you guys can see them. So male, and then you got your female and your bushing is what, what separates the mount from the sheath and then your female screw. And I'm gonna take my female screw and through that fourth rivet, I'm gonna set that female screw in there, okay? Like I said, I want my mount to land on this side, the back of the sheath. So my female screw, I'm gonna push through the front all the way through to the back. I take my spacer there and use that hold it in place, okay? Same thing, pop off your spacer from the female screw, this thing off, go in the fifth hole on the front side, and then pop your spacer on the back, okay? So the reason we use these spacers is because we don't want that mount flush against the sheath. We want a little bit of separation there so you can see that gap. Now what I'm gonna do is take my male screw. You don't wanna tighten too much to where those bushings start to squeeze out, but you definitely want it tight enough to where it's not gonna fall off while you're in the middle of a mission, okay? There's your IWB clip. You can see how it's completely level with the top of the choil of the sheath, which makes it really, really nice when you're concealing this because the sheath isn't actually above the belt line. All right, next sheath. I'm using the same hardware. Um, the hardware is universal, but I've got the Ulti clip Slim. Now the Ulti Clip Slim is best if you want to carry it, you know, on your sweatpants or you don't actually have a belt. The clip is not designed to go around a belt. It's designed to cinch down on a pocket or a piece of material like a waistband, sweatpants, running shorts, whatever, and grab that material. So it's not wide enough for a belt, but it's wide enough to give it good grip on waistline. Now the hardware on this one you can see it's got um, the same thing two female and two male and then it's also got the spacer on the back. Now with the IWB we use the fourth and fifth hole. With the ulti clip you can still use that fourth and fifth hole but you can also use the third hole. So I prefer to use the third hole. I'm going to show you today in the video just fourth and fifth for the sake of time but if you use that third hole it gives you a little bit more structural rigidity so it's not bending as easy so it's a little bit stronger but real quick i'm going to show you same hardware using the back side of the sheet i'll line up my mount pop my male screw on there get the little stubby screwdriver and tighten this down okay and the cool thing about the ulti clip is instead of just having holes in the mount you've got slots Okay, and those slots allow you to slide them out up and down and adjust it to wherever you want that thing to land. Okay, so I'm tightening down. You can see, lands a little bit lower. But like I said, you can slide this thing up so it's flush. And then that way when you cinch that down, it's tight, it's on your waistband. And then these things do need to be broken in. So it's a little bit tight to start. You've got this main tab here, that's what loosens it up. You pop that open, okay? And you've got your clip. Once you close, the actual clip, that's what singes down that hook on the inside, okay? 
All right, third mount. This is where it gets a little bit trickier. It's not the same hardware. This is our, our horizontal belt loops, and they're actually gonna be used on the second and the fourth hole of the sheet. Okay, so here's what comes in the kit. You've got the belt loop that's already assembled for you. What you need to do is take apart the bottom end assembly. Okay, so you've got your snap up top, and on the bottom, you've actually got a screw going through the male snap. So pull that screw out, and what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow that male snap to come out. So now you just have that female end, okay? So I'm gonna take my sheath, put it on the second hole, okay? Easier to see that way. I'm gonna take my male snap, okay? Put it on top of the eyelet on the other side of where I started that loop. Drop that small screw through the top of it and tighten that up until it singes along that eyelet. Now the tighter you go, I like to have a little bit of play. If I go tighter, it's gonna lock it in. You're not gonna be able to move it like that. And the cool thing is you can see you've got different mounting holes depending on your belt width, okay? Now here's the tricky part. This is where people are, you know, they get confused. It's a one-way snap, meaning when you put it onto the male end of the snap, you have to rock it into place. So what I do is I hold it like this, I rock it in just on one side, and then I push down, okay? And when you remove it, you do the same thing. You pull from the bottom end. So flip it in just like that, push down, it's easy. So I have it set at the longest belt attachment. Um, I would probably go one more up because I wear an inch and three quarter belt. But that's how you do the first one. I'll do the second one real quick. Pop through that, that fourth hole, just like that. Put your male snap on top of the eyelet on the fourth hole. Drop your male screw in there. Okay, so I'm not gonna go too tight so I can adjust where I want this thing to land. I want it to land a little bit at an angle. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it. Again, you can use thread locker if you want to. One way snap, rock it into the edge, push down. Okay, there you've got your horizontal, your horizontal belt loops. All right, so the last mount. It's probably our biggest mount, strongest mount. It's the ultimate belt attachment. And it's got, just like everything else, two female, two male, and a spacer, okay? This one's a little bit tricky because it's double locking. So it's gonna come in the closed position. The way you unlock it is you need to slide this lever over, okay, to where you can push it in. You push that in and then it opens. That's how I'm gonna remove the hardware from the inside of this mount. So same thing, I'm gonna take the male screw out. Now for the sheath, it's gonna take your second and your fourth hole. That's where you wanna mount this. And the hole pattern here is completely symmetrical all the way around. So if you wanna go vertical between your second and third or your second and fourth hole, you can do that. Or you can do a horizontal mount just like that, okay? So all the holes will always match up. Now if you have three sets of screws, the three holes along the top here will actually line up with the three holes on this sheath. So a little bit of extra um, rigidity for your sheath. Again, first step, take your female end, pop it through the front side of the sheath. I'm gonna take my spacer here on the back side, okay? I'm gonna line it up with the first hole. Okay, it's kinda hard to show you guys, but that first hole. All right, I'm gonna lightly screw in this first male screw, get the threads lined up here. Not all the way, because I wanna be able to pivot it so I can throw on my second set of screws. Okay, second one goes in, second spacer, line it up, lines up perfectly, drop your male screw in there, tighten that down, use thread locker if you want to, whatever, get it nice and tight, and what that spacer does, that spacer is nice, you can see it adds just that little bit of a gap, so the actual belt attachment isn't going to hit any of the contour of the sheath okay so again press on the button on the bottom side to open it to close it to snap it to lock it just 
pull it over, okay? So real quick, all of our leather sheaths will work with the same hardware. You got long screw. The only difference is you're not gonna use the backspacer. So if I'm gonna put you know, my brand new Anaconda in a leather sheath, I'm gonna take my female hardware through third and fourth hole, just like I would on the Kydex sheath. Take, we'll take the ulti clip, line it up on that hole, okay? Just like that and then drop my male hardware to the bottom. Okay, so you do that for both, singes it down. I'm gonna slide this down a little bit. And do that, that last fold there. Okay. All right, so easy enough. We went through the four mounts. They're all compatible with leather. Just remember, don't use the spacer on leather. The leather's a little bit thicker, so we don't have the room for it. So you just wanna use the long screw post and the long screw, okay? All right, last thing. We've got our ultimate belt attachment. Like I said, it can go horizontally too. Just depends on how you wanna wear it. And they're all ambidextrous, but here's where you have to be careful. If you flip it on this side, you want to make sure you remove your retention screw and put it on the other side. That way it's not blocking that screw if you need to tighten your sheath. Your sheath's tight, so we're good, good to go.